um, let's pray and then we'll start. Yeah. Let's just commit this day into God's uh, mighty hands, commit ourselves into his hands. And, um, you know, uh, we just pray and ask the Lord to give us uh, inspiration uh, to fill us with his spirit once again. Because scripture declares, um, you know, the instruction is to be filled with the spirit. And every day we have the opportunity to go before him and ask him to, to fill us with his spirit. So let's do that this morning. Father, we come before you. Lord, we, um, we come before you with gratitude. We thank you for another new day that you've given us, Lord. Uh, we thank you for this day. And uh, we thank you for everything that this do day holds for us. Lord, all the things that you have prepared for us, Father God. And uh, yes, Master, that we can um, discover all the, all the, um, Lord, the, the things that you've prepared for us, the work that you've already prepared for us, Lord, that we should walk in it. And uh, Master, we, we just ask, Father God, that you would fill us this morning with your Holy Spirit. Fill us again with your Spirit, Lord. Uh, anoint us afresh, Father God. Yes, Master, we pray that, um, Lord, even as you fill us, Lord, may we be mindful of, mindful of um, Lord, receiving, mindful of um, just holding on to all the things that you're revealing to us, Lord. You know, let's uh, let us believe the Lord to show us. Believe the Lord to uh, believe that the Lord will uh, reveal new things. Uh, believe that the Lord will give new directions. Uh, believe that the Lord will, um, you know, give us that steps to take, etc. Right? Uh, let's believe that God will do that uh, even right now, even today, and we can just believe the Lord. Believe that the Lord will prepare our, our, our hearts. You know, do what is necessary in us, in our spirit. Uh, do what is necessary in our mind. Uh, maybe there's a changed perspective and uh, thinking that needs to come aligned with with his his thoughts. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's just believe um, that the Lord will do that. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for the unveiling. Thank you for opening our eyes, Lord. Thank you for, Lord, removing, God. Thank you for refining. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. Yes, Lord, the things that you want to put in our hearts, Lord, the things that you want to be, Lord, uh, want um, to be rooted in us and, Lord, um, the things that you want us to be deeply rooted in, Father God, I pray that you would uh, show, that you would lead, yes, Master, and the things that you want to be removed out of us, Lord, uprooted out of us, Lord, may that happen as well, Father God, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, we bless your name, we bless your name, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory at this time, in Jesus' matchless name we pray, amen, amen. Okay, so um, so this uh, subject, this course is uh, is a uh, is something that's uh, that um, there's not much of teaching involved here, uh, but definitely we can discuss um, you know what you want to uh, do with it. Um, so this, as the name suggests, you know, it's an independent research paper. So which means each of you individually as students. Um, each of you individually will be doing a, a project, will be doing this uh, assignment, and this will span for the next four months, Jan to April. And uh, this uh, assignment or project will be uh, a, a research one, you know, which means that you, um, you find out, you investigate um, about a particular topic. Right? It could be about a particular topic. Um, it could be something to do with uh, a biblical topic, a biblical character, even or uh, anything. You know, the, the 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 scope is very vast. Okay, what you want to do uh, a study on, what you want to do an investigation on, um, like it can even be a social issue or a political issue or a you know uh, something like a, a religious issue that is happening uh, maybe in your uh, in your immediate surroundings, right? In your uh, maybe in your neighborhood, maybe in your city, maybe in your town. So it could be something like that, or something that you notice that is that needs to change 
maybe it needs to change in society maybe something that needs to change in in the church um you know maybe it, it can be something that is unique to the place that you are living in right um which means that uh, it may not be that you know it may not be the same thing everywhere but but in your town or in your country or in your uh, city uh, you notice that okay um, there is something some, there is a challenge you know there is a uh, there is a challenge there is a problem uh, there's a difficulty which needs a biblical solution of course which needs a which needs an answer which needs to be addressed um so you could uh, do a study on that an investigation on that and uh, also come up with solutions come up with suggestions uh directions on how it you know this is what the bible says this is what the bible instructs about this particular challenge or this particular problem and this is how it can be solved okay so uh, something on those lines right so it can be um, uh it can be a biblical topic it can be something on let's say you know you want to do something on faith or love you know um now you know topics like that you know like uh, maybe something doctrinal um now you need to be a little more careful because um as per this the guidelines of this course what we are uh, suggesting is that you do not you know take up something that you already studied okay let's say uh you know the prophetic or the apostolic you know you've already done the course right you've done the course in the previous year uh you've you've already finished it so you know don't take a topic like that and also don't present material uh, from the from the course material that you've already you know that you've already received right you know from faith let's say you right from the first semester you already have the material and then you uh, say okay how, this is how faith is developed this is how faith ha- happens and these are the hindrances of faith these are the you know uh, now that's not a uh, a research uh, that's not a research or that you know your report uh, should not be in that in that way right so it can be something it has to be something unique it has to be something uh, different um uh, and uh, uh, it can be something original right something that is uh, very relevant um to today's day and time maybe maybe as a bible college student you know you experience something so it can be anything right but uh, we are going to be uh, discussing that right so we go, we are going to be uh, uh, so that's, that's one of the things that you need to first come up with right a topic or a, uh, you know what is your thesis what is it going to be on um so we are going to uh, let's say you know you you have two three options and uh, you know we can discuss it and then you can uh, finalize on one thing and then start off okay so so this uh, this is uh, something that um, uh, you know that would be the first step and uh, and further you know the whatever research whatever material that you need to collect whatever data that you need to collect you know uh, about that particular topic you know you you begin to start you 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 start to do that um data collection maybe it it will involve maybe visiting a library maybe going online um checking out various resources about that particular topic or issue um it could also mean talking to people like interviewing people maybe you know you you're doing something that is uh, uh let's say you know okay sid is from mysore and maybe he wants to do something about mysore you know, about um about how the missionaries came how did christianity spread in mysore something like that right um, how did uh, what kind of outreaches uh, happened uh, what kind of evangelistic efforts have happened how did the church grow what was the first church uh, where was the first church plant who were the first you know pastors something like that so he needs to like do a research right go online check maybe talk to the pastors maybe talk to the churches even find out which is the earliest church talk to the pastor you know who how do they start who came and and all that so it could also uh, one thing is data collection uh it would also involve uh, interviewing people like talking to pastors maybe sending them uh 
question i'm just saying pastors but it could be you know anyone um, whom you choose the target audience uh, from whom you want the sample or you want the sample um, information right so you could uh, you know it it might involve uh, data collection through interviews or uh, maybe questionnaires um, maybe phone interviews or maybe you know even face to face interviews whatever right you decide you choose to do that and uh, and then so once the data is collected then you you know you analyze it and you you come to certain conclusions okay and also certain recommendations right so we're going to be talking about all this all these things um in the future sessions right um so i hope uh, you know this is the, the this is the broad scope of the subject okay so it's something that you need to do uh, and uh, my role here would be to maybe discuss clarify um and also suggest certain things but finally you know you make the decision right you you make the choice you decide okay this is what i'm going to do this is how i'm going to do it okay so in terms of the course evaluation uh what we're going to do is uh, uh, there is a report that needs to be submitted uh um, in a, in a in a few minutes i'm just going to take you through the timeline of you know different phases and what are those dates for submissions um so uh, at the end uh, there is a, a report that needs to be submitted and uh, that is going to be evaluated for about 75% um so this is a uh, this is a full fledged comprehensive report you know detailing the topic the methods and uh, the findings and analysis and uh, you know the recommendations etc right um so that's a uh, of course we are, we are not uh, uh, going in for a print kind of a thing but a printed report but it can be a soft copy now for the report there is a it has to be done in a certain format okay so which means that um, the the line spacing the font um and then the this is how the headings should be this is how the paragraphs should be this is if you are putting in a let's say a picture in the in the report then this is how it should be actually put right or if you're going to put a table uh, this is how the table format should be the table with rows and columns uh, this is how it should be so all that we have following going to be following a set uh, uh, format called the mla format okay it's a uh, modern I, I just get that <laughs> um it's 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 called the mla format it means modern language association you know that's the full form modern language association format so it lists certain things uh, uh this is how the line spacing should be etc so you just need to follow that so we're going to follow that format okay so evaluation it is based on the report 75% of their marks come from that then the balance 25% comes from your presentation okay so there we will have online presentations so there are three days on which you will be presenting um the the report okay uh, so in a concise manner in 15 minutes that you will present what you have about your work okay so that's at the right uh, right at the end of the semester in, in the month of april we will have 3 days on which you will present um, your findings you will present um, your work done the report okay um so that's for 15 minutes and then we will have about five minutes for question and answers. You know, if anybody has questions about or doubts about about the about the presentation that you made, or you know, other faculty, or uh, you know, we, uh, it might be me, or maybe we could have an external faculty also. But it'll be mostly me, you know, asking questions about your work uh, and and doubts and clarifications. So five minutes for that. So it's about twenty minutes per person. Okay, so. Uh, for each person so we have about okay f um, eight people right now but i think we have about uh, in this for independent research we have nine nine students okay the one person is not there okay so um so we will yeah so we will have uh, for each person 20 minutes and we will spread it across maybe um three days uh, and we should be done 
in three days. Okay, so that's the uh, second part of the evaluation. So 25% from the presentation that you would, so it's online, so you will switch on your cameras, maybe you have a PowerPoint that you want to uh, share on the screen, and you will do that and make the presentation. And we will stick to time, right? And at the end of 15 minutes, I will just say, you know, 15 minutes is done. So you can, you have to time yourself and uh, uh, and practice that presentation so that you can finish it in 15 minutes. So so that's the uh, that's the other part of the evaluation. Okay. Um, now what I'll do is I'll just share the timeline. Okay. So timeline. When I say timeline, I'm talking about uh, okay. Uh, what are the dates? Uh, certain dates that there are certain submissions certain things that you need to be ready with okay so let me just share that i've already put it on the stream uh in the class classwork section but let me just share that with you here okay okay Right. Okay. You can see that now. Okay. There you go. Um, just a minute, please. Let me just move it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, sorry, that's the objective of the course. Uh, you can read through it right uh, to pursue an independent research to explore an original thought idea topic and cohesively present the findings in the form of a paper and a verbal verbal presentation so of course when i say paper uh, you know i'm talking about a, a report it need not it it, it is def, uh, you know it's not possible to print it out and share it uh, it is going to be online a soft copy right Okay, then the topic, it can be a biblical topic, any topic, any issue, any new thought, concept, any idea, anything. But it should have a biblical perspective, right? So that's the connection. It should have a biblical perspective. You know, it can, you can, you can talk about any social, uh, you know, challenges, maybe about, uh, you know, um, maybe drug abuse or you know maybe in in, in your city there's uh, that's a challenge among the teenagers or that's a challenge among whoever you know working professionals you know drug abuse and stress and so on but uh, you know it should be a uh, it should be some topic which uh, which has uh, you know has potential for research and also analysis and recommendations and uh, we should always uh, give a biblical base for it. The foundation is, is uh, something that is biblical. It's a biblical perspective that you're, uh, you're, that you're suggesting, uh, that you're recommending uh, in the light of scripture. Okay, uh, how, is, how does scripture talk about, is there anything in the word of God about this particular challenge or issue? Um, and uh, what is a biblical perspective? Okay, um, so I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just talking specifically about, you know, if there is a social issue or challenge and so on. Otherwise, it can be, you know, if it's going to be about a biblical topic, it can be something uh, very, very, like, even if you're talking about faith, um, maybe you've noticed how a certain group of people or maybe groups of people in different parts of the, the world, how do they apply their faith? You know, maybe uh, that's something how do they put to practice this you know the faith the biblical faith in their daily lives you know maybe there's something unique something different um about that and maybe you have some information on that or you can do a study on that and say okay in these these you know, these people these countries uh, and this is how it um, you know they practically live out their faith or something like that you know i'm just uh, i'm just uh, you know top of my head i'm just giving you these thoughts but um, you know it can be anything right um, okay so that's uh, that's about the topic okay so here are let's just go through the timeline or go through some of the um, things that we need to be um, aware of um, so 25th january okay today is the 12th right so 25th of january um you once you you know you um, you know decide on the topic you just need to give a one page summary 
okay one page summary of uh, in your word doc uh, minimum of three words i mean so 300 words maximum of 500 words normally you know one page is about 300 words so um one page summary of your research topic. Okay, what is it that you're going to be doing a research on? Um, some information about that, uh, and also uh, some details about how you're going to be uh, carrying out that research um, work. Uh, what kind of sources are you going to be studying? Um, you know, all that, right? So it's going to be a one page summary, very concise. Okay, this is what my topic is. This is what I've noticed, and this is what I, I would like to do. This is how I'd like to go out finding uh, finding out uh, information or collecting information uh, about this particular thing uh, topic, right? So, so that uh, you need to submit on or before Tuesday of the 25th. Yeah, so what you can do is, uh, you know, you can download this and um, keep it uh, on your you know, whatever device, laptop or phone, just download this Word doc or, or note down these dates in your calendar, right? Uh, maybe it's an online calendar or a physical calendar, just note down these days so you are aware of it and you're working towards that, right? Because you have other subjects, other assignments, other things coming in and uh, let it not get uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, missed out, okay? So, um, so that's the thing. Uh, Monday, so um, just one second. So this is yeah, okay. So twenty fifth Jan, um, you so you have about two weeks now, yeah, to to do this. Maybe less than a week, less than two weeks, but you can do this. So it's just about deciding the topic. Uh, and uh, you know you uh, present this okay so so uh, what we will do however before that is um, in the next class which is uh, on the 19th um, we will discuss about okay about the topic you know if you have ideas if you have uh, you know this is uh, the uh, something about the kind of topic that you want to uh, go ahead with we will discuss it in the next class so each one of you can just talk about it uh, sh uh share about the topic that you would like to do uh, that you'd like to uh, do a research on and we can we can discuss that okay and you can also email me uh, you know you can email it to the uh, to my official bible college email id and we can discuss over email as well and the same goes for the e-learning uh, students um, you can either post it on the discussion or you can email me uh, my official email ID, and we can discuss that. Okay, right. So the next uh, submission is uh, in the month of March. Okay, so this is uh, so you would have done some amount of work by then. So we'd like to see what kind of progress has been made so um so first of march okay that's again another tuesday first of march um so the whole of jan whole of feb you know you are working on your research and um so the first of march you will uh, on or before first of march you submit uh, a draft of of the progress okay what has happened uh, what is the data what is the study that you've done and uh, again you you do a draft of the status of the work okay so i can just go through it and uh, uh, and same goes for the online uh, uh, sorry the same goes for the e-learning uh, uh, students on the e-learning platform as well you can mark uh, make a note of these dates uh, the first of march you present your the status of uh, the current status of your work okay then uh, the final draft. Okay, so now you've you've done the work. This is the final presentation or the final report. Now that needs to be submitted on or before Monday, the eleventh of April. Okay, so you have another month to work on from the, the status uh, of the of the draft, and then you work on it and you finalize things and this is a you know 25 page or a 35 30 page report um uh, so you finish that and you present that or you submit that 
on the 11th of April. Okay, so uh, for the online students, um, you could just upload uh, in your classwork. So uh, you could do that. For the e-learning students, you could you could do the same. You could uh, uh, you know uh, upload on the discussions, uh, uh, and so we can take a look at that. Um, okay, then we have a project presentation. Right, we have the project presentation. Now, this is uh, specifically for the uh, on uh, online students. Just a minute, please. Um, yeah. Okay. Specifically for the online students. Okay. So we have three dates. That is April thirteenth, the twentieth of April, and twenty seventh of April. Okay. So on these three dates, the presentation will. Uh, take place. So you'll take 15 minutes. You'll present it. Uh, we we will also decide the order in which you know who's presenting when, so that there's no confusion. Uh, but everyone comes prepared, and uh, you know you present your um, you make your presentation, right? And so presentation you you are preparing it, your presentation for 15 minutes, and followed by question answers. Okay, for the e-learning students um this is how it will be so you you need to um, shoot a video of yourself a presentation of yourself you can either use uh, your phone camera or if you have a digital camera you can use that um, just make sure that the um, there's no ambient noise or it's not uh, noisy so your voice is clear uh, and uh, if it's if you're using a phone please keep it in the horizontal mode right so you're keeping your uh phone like this and you're shooting not like this right horizontal mode so you um shoot a video and for about 15 minutes and uh there are some technical uh tips uh we will i will upload that also so e-learning students also you can you know you will go to your um, the resource material page and uh, you will a uh, tab and you will have this all these information uh, uploaded there okay so uh, and so you do you shoot a 15 minute video e learning students uh, and upload it on a google drive and uh, you know and then um, on the discussion page you uh, paste the link and give me access so that i can see the presentation and uh, evaluate your presentation okay Okay, so let me just uh, stop this. Okay, so any any doubts, any clarifications, any questions, um, please feel free to ask from what we have seen so far. Any doubts at all? Okay. Okay. You you might have some doubts or uh, questions. Uh, you know, as we progress in the in the in this uh, in these sessions. Um, okay. There is another uh, document that I just wanted to share. Let me just put it on the screen. Okay. So this is your um format you know like the modern language association format for the final report so this has um this has ob you can just go through this this has uh, you know paper section which is irrelevant so you don't have to you know worry about that uh, it has the heading format format title a whole lot of other details you know uh, how should the page numbers be the margins uh, margin spacing paragraphs how do you uh, put in a quotation if you're giving a quotation from let's say um, you know you're, you're quoting uh, you're putting a scripture reference or a quotation from you know, some person maybe like uh, cs lewis or you know someone you you know how do you actually put it there right how do you type it out there what should be the spacing all the information is there uh, what should be the font what should be the font size spacing punctuation abbreviation um right and it also has a link so you can um, check that out so i'll both the soft uh, i mean the link and this word doc will be uh, there 
uh, it's already uploaded for the online students. For the e-learning, it will be uploaded along with the video that you will check. So, yeah, so it has, you know, all this information. You need to go through that. You need to take some time to read that. Maybe this week you can do that. Okay, so, yeah, paraphrasing, um, etc. Okay. Okay, so this, this is just some basic uh, information about the report. So you, you right now, you don't have to worry too much about it, right? You right now just focus on the topic that need you need to uh, work on. Okay, what is it that you need to work that you want to work on? What is your heart really? Um, you know, what is it that you're passionate about? Um, what is it that's on your mind? Or Maybe there's nothing, you know, nothing right now, but just pray about it, uh, think about it, uh, and then, you know, you you come up with a good topic, right? Some a topic that can, uh, that has potential, really, right? So you can work on it, research, uh, do some research on it. Okay, so um, so it's it's a very exciting uh, a course, uh, which which kind of makes you think. And even as you, um, you know, even as you decide on the topic, even as you put in effort in, you know, in investigating, and you'd be so surprised that there is there is so much uh, about this particular topic, or you know, uh, oh, oh, this is something that you can do, and maybe it can even it can even become your life's calling, right? Maybe it it can be something because it's it's something that's close to your heart. It's something that you want to really uh, spend time on and effort on when it can even become your life's calling you know like it can it can take you on that uh, direction so uh, uh, the lord can lead you in that way so um so it's it's quite exciting right um like i i i remember i think it was last semester last time we did this um you know the last batch uh, there were some very uh, there were some wonderful topics you know somebody from uh, from South Africa about the pandemic, about the churches, how they um, how they dealt with it, uh, what did they miss out on, and because you know the challenges were different over there compared to you know India, uh, so you know how how did they uh, how did they uh, deal with the challenges of uh, you know fellowship, how do they deal with uh, you know all those things, so it was very interesting to see that. Uh, to read through and ch check uh, check that out, uh, and also somebody did a study on uh, on uh, women in ministry in some of the rural areas in Karnataka. Okay, so uh, it so it was I think they picked uh, a, one rural I think it was a town or a village, and then also compared it with some. Uh, you know, in the city, churches in the city. So, uh, so they were doing a you know a, a study like that. Um, like, what were the challenges? Were still people accepting of women as pastors and leaders? And so it was um, very interesting to find out. You know, um, like uh, apart from the independent churches or the mainline churches, you know, so to, to see the different perspectives, you know, how um, how in certain places where women were still, uh, you know, the, not regarded as pastors or you know, um, the, uh, some of the ministry areas you know, were still shut, the doors were still shut, right? So it is quite interesting to find out. So this person actually, uh, uh, I think, uh, had interviews with people, interviewed people um, in ministry, interviewed pastors. Uh, so uh, did that, and then uh, and then came up with some findings. So that was uh, very interesting as well. So so think about it. You know, the scope is unlimited. The topics. You know, just uh, take some time. Okay, don't be in a rush to uh, finalize the topic. Take some time. Uh, so next class when we meet, you know, we can have some more discussions. And the same goes for, you know, e-learning students. If you're watching this video, uh, take some time to, you know, think about it. Take some time to uh, see, you know, what is it. Don't be restricted by um, anything, you know, really, you know, uh, you think creatively, think differently, think out of the box and say, okay, uh, what is it that I can actually study and bring it up? And maybe, you know, it can be a, it would be a very interesting work, something that you can uh, develop on, something that you can even publish, 
right? So, um, yeah, so um, it depends, right? Uh, the kind of effort, the kind of depth that you want to do. Uh, of course, you know, we have limited time, we have four months, but you know, even after that, you can pursue, you can take this forward. So, um, so yeah, so that I just want to put it out there. So uh, do that. Um, yeah, so any further questions? Any questions on, I know each of you uh, coming from different backgrounds, different places, right? So, um, okay. Yeah, yeah, Dave. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I'm not asking any questions, but can we see yeah. some sam samples uh, from, from the students? Is that possible? Sample, sample reports? Yeah. Um, right, okay. those have been archived, Dave, so uh, I don't have anything right now. Um, all the previous, let me see if it is. Uh, but the thing is, I don't want to also you know give a sample then sometimes you get down into that you know um that's why i'm not i'm also not suggesting titles i'm just giving very vague you know different uh, I, I yeah because what happens is like suppose i give a title and then you know it's very specific areas then uh you might you might want to just take that and do that um which is why um like I, I'm just giving the the format for the report, so you could, you know, you could follow that. Uh, but you can be creative, uh, and uh, you can, yeah, you can just go all out. That. That's the only thing. Um, but let me see as we as we go. Uh, I'll see if we can, you know, look at maybe one 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 sample report. Yeah. Sure, Pastor. So, uh, are there any kind of? Uh, uh, Mm, formats or we're free to do whatever we want. Um, sorry, sorry, uh, just tell me. Uh, Are there any kind of formats to follow? Uh, uh, format or... to follow in the sense uh, when it comes to the presentation, when it comes to the report? Or... When it comes to the report, like different kind of, uh, like, like things to follow. Like this mm. goes in the front and this goes after that. Uh, oh. I will free to do whatever you want, however you want. Yeah, you, you can be, uh, you know, it's it's kind of flexible. You can uh, think, but this MLA format, you know, if once you go through the document, you will um, you will get an idea, you know. So because the MLA format, that the Modern Language Association format, it, uh, it it's actually a format for a report. You know, when you want to submit a report, this is the format. So, which means that it that that gives you a structure. Okay, the title should be like this. Uh, the page number should be like this. Uh, the the paragraph should be like this. Uh, so that gives you a structure for the for the report, right? So, yeah. So you can follow that structure. That needs to be followed. Uh, so that is something that we uh, we want to follow. That you use that format for your report. But in terms, yeah. But in terms of content, in terms of uh, the topics, uh, then you you you're flexible. You know, you're very flexible. Sure, thank you. Pastor. Right there. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Anyone else? Any other questions? Okay. Um, so I okay. Here are some things that um, that you would have to maybe uh, work on. You know, in the sense, um, see, maybe um, I know each of us could have different. Um, each of us could be in different varying skill levels when it comes to presenting things. Right? Maybe you know you uh, uh, your 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 writing. You know uh, the way your your uh, sorry, I'm just little thing. So the way you present, you know, uh, in in writing, you know, written communication, right? So uh, we might be good with verbal communication, but our written communication, uh, you know, they you could be in different skill levels, right? So that is something that you need to work on consciously. Okay, so for some of you, so some of us, we might have to do it every day. So uh, how do I, you know, how do I communicate it? How do I uh, write this? Okay, I've let's say you 
you've seen something and you want to write about it. Um, uh, so that I'll just answer your question in a bit. Okay. So so um, so let's say you you want to write about a particular thing. You notice something, right? You watch something. You watched a uh, let's say you watched a program, and you need to write about it. So you will have to you know whatever you're observing, you have to put it in writing, right? And it's it has to be in your own words. Now our skill levels could be very different, so you need to work on that. Right, because there's no copy paste. You can't copy paste from the internet. Uh, there can't be any plagiarism. So you need to work on your written communication skill in order to present it well. Right. So that's something that you need to work on. Um, so that's uh, that's something that uh, you know. I just wanted to tell you all uh, uh, your written communication. You know, maybe spelling, grammar. Right, all that needs to be worked on. So, while this report work, while these submissions, you know, there is a lot of space in between, but there's there are some things that you need to work on every day in order to be able to get to submit your report in a in a good manner. Right. So, uh, if your uh, written communication is uh, you feel that it's a little weak, you know, maybe the spellings are uh, not not good. Maybe in the grammar, you know the way you frame your sentences. Maybe um, you you find that challenge. Uh, then you need to work on that. Okay, you need to start working on that. Okay. Uh, okay. So the, Sid's question is: uh, Is this this MLA format? Is that an app that we need to download? No, it's uh, it's the MLA format. When I say format, it's the uh, it's a set of guidelines that your font should be like this. You know, in your Word doc, if you're typing in the report, your font should be like this. Your paragraph should be like this. Uh, your your margin should be, you know, the spacing. So uh, that's the thing. That's the format. So th it is this Word, Word doc. I've already, um, you know, uh, uploaded the Word doc in, the, in your classwork section. So you can, um, you know, it's when you go to that course, materi uh, course material, let me uh, see if I can project that. Okay, so let's say I think you can see this right in your course material section. This is the classwork section, course material. So these guidelines are there. One one has the timeline and the uh, you know this word doc has a timeline and everything, and then the other one has the format, final report format. So it gives you information. So this is what it is. So it's not an app. Uh, it's just that. Uh, yeah, it just uh, gives you the information. So this, uh, yeah, Kanan's question is, uh, are these guidelines for Word document or is it for PPT? No, it is only for the report that you're submitting, report that you're, um, you know, uh, submitting. So it's, a, it's only for the Word doc, right? Uh, and it's not for the PPT. So PPT can be, you know, you can you can use whatever, however you want it. Um, but we can look at some best practices for PPT, you know, in terms of font, in terms of information, in terms of visuals, right? So for your PowerPoint presentation, you can, we can look at that also, right? Okay. Okay, so uh, we'll meet again next class and uh, I can probably give you some exercises on spellings, some exercises on, you know, we can, we can just go through that and maybe some online, uh, uh, you know, uh, online something, some resources online that you can use. Um, okay, straight away, one thing that comes to my mind is, uh, let me just, I think, uh, I don't know if I've shared this. Um, there's a online help called Grammarly. Grammarly.com. Uh, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know if I shared it here. With um, okay, let me just put the link. Okay, so this is Grammarly.com. So this is a free online writing tool. So you just need to download that. It's free, and you can use it 
for or you can log in and you can try it out right so it helps you to uh, you know as you're typing out the document if there are any uh, grammatical errors it helps you to correct that like the word doc itself you know word document itself um it there's you know it it gives you that underlying thing you know it, uh, if there's a spelling mistake there's a red squiggle which comes under that or uh, if there is a grammar error there's a different color thing which comes uh, under that so you can uh, actually check it out uh, and you can actually do a spell check in your simple uh, word doc itself it has all these tools but over and above that you know you can use uh, grammarly.com okay so i put it on the chat um, grammarly.com and you can check that out so online uh, e learning platform students you know you uh, that information also i will put it uh, grammarly.com you can check that out you can use it so so get used to presenting things um, in english uh, get used to uh, i mean sharpen your written communication skill um, and, and keep improving that your spelling etc uh, and uh, and yes you know that is something that you need to work on side by side okay Okay, so I guess we'll we'll stop here, um, and if there are any more questions, uh, you know, we will address it in the next class. Right? Okay, thank you. God bless. Work on the topic. Work on the title. Right. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. Right. See you. Bye bye.